Hi, it's Patrick Reed from the Adamus Principle. Lots to talk about. Every week's the same, right? You twist and turns in the markets. Um, is it going to be the Fed's turn? Is it going to be reflation? Is it going to be um, tightening through what the swaps are telling us? All this stuff. Um, we are here to make sense of macro. And uh, I would just want to say the first chart we're going to see is euro dollar. Looky here, look, this is, we are at a crucial point here. We cracked above this trend channel, the upper trend line of this trend channel at 2106. Now we're looking to, to close below that today, not helped by some month end madness, uh, some squaring of books, uh, resetting of those uh, uh, crucial pairs. Um, but it is what it is. And let's just see what happens next week. But what I will say is if we do fail below here, sorry, if we do fail above this line and close below, I would just say that is a, quite a failure because we did have a very dovish Fed. Now, lots of market participants, certainly myself, thinking he didn't need to be so dovish. There was no, no change to the script, but he really labors on uh, more work to be done. Put this uh, offset that, counter that to the explosive US macro, you know, 900,000 on jobs, you know, unemployment rate is 6%, ISMs, you know, reaching, reaching for the stars and, and a lot of the uh, interest rate derivatives, you know, OIS, Euro dollar futures, all pointing to an aggressive hike, um, certainly within the context of where the dots are, okay? But Euro dollar couldn't really have another leg up. It couldn't even go to 122.40, which is the, the first near term resistance on the daily. So that tells you something. You know, it tells you um, all eyes on the bond market. But here we are. Um, if we do get to 119.90, expect some bias to turn up there. Next chart. Well, it's all about reflation, wasn't it, this week? And Aussie didn't really capitalize on that you did have a much higher CAD throughout the week especially as the bank of canada um with the first central bank to tighten but you still would you know if you're in that reflation camp which let's face it most of us are um weaker dollar higher aussie higher iron or higher copper all that makes sense high kiwi certainly high CAD, but you know a little lackluster maybe we are at this um, consolidation phase in this range, really from 75.66 to 78.10. So you would expect it either to, to have another leg up to test the 79.15 or fail, which let's be honest, I'm, I'm more of the fail um, sort of camp to test the 77. And if that goes, then we could go to 75.66. Next slide. Well, it was really, you know, with it, we had a sweet spot in reflation and a higher dollar in some aspects, but 10 year yields perky again, all helping dollar yen to, to lift all the yen crosses. And CAD yen was the one really exploding higher, bid to all boots. Um, and it was a delayed reaction after the Bank of Canada, but here we are, dollar yen. The driving force in a lot of the yen crosses, 109, the key to, you know, we're at this turning point where the mid Bollinger band on the four alley, it's um, creeping up to that minor fib, which is 23.6%. If, if 109 goes, it could be 110.95. Next chart. So the final chart today, it's all about dollar CAD. Finally, finally, we got there, 122.55, expect some buys down there, but have to say it might be a bit of a dollar squeeze today, resetting those books, but next week it should be really exciting because we've got non-farm payroll. That's it from me. Uh, my name's Patrick Reed from the Adamus Principle. Have a wonderful long weekend. Bye.